Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Long Dark. My name is Weasel, and with me is my beautiful wife, Learn. Hello. Hi. Uh, my hand is still kind of ruined from falling. It's only a bone bruise, He's but it hurts. He's trying to show it to you, but... Yes, I can. not There's, there's no webcam. We're not doing webcams. <laughs> it's not that time of year. And... Uh, Lauren is going to play for me. She's going to be my hands, and also, you know, she's going to play on her herself. Ew. So basically, you're going to be my hands? Is that you? <laughs> I, I, I guess that's weird. That that could be really misconstrued. In any, case, <laughs> in any case, we're going to go and play the game in the sandbox mode. Uh, and not on interloper difficulty, because no. we're not going to survive very long. Also not stalker. We're going to go two to the side. How do I do that? Uh, you're going to go. There's oh. the arrow. Arrow. Yes. Uh, Voyager. Um, we could try. Voyager. We could try Stalker, which is kind of like the hard mode. It's no. not the hardcore. Okay. I have no idea what yes. anything in this game is. Yes. All I know right. that there's snow. There is indeed snow. Believe it or not, there's a lot of snow. There's actually a little bit too much snow for my liking. But anyway, let's go ahead and confirm and confirm. Uh, you can choose your region where you want to start. And I'm, I'm Skyrim. Um, mate. I mean. Okay, not Skyrim. <laughs> The more to the right you go, the harder the beginning kind of is. Coming soon gets harder and harder. Co coming soon is probably insane. It's probably just going to be a lava pit. It's hell frozen over or something like that. Uh, yeah, pick pick one of the first three. We this can one work looks with that. It's desolate and I, I don't like it. But this looks quaint, doesn't this it? This looks quaint. Yeah. It's just yellowy. Is, is that a problem? I don't know. This looks friendly. This is like this is Pleasant Valley. That's pleasant. It is called Pleasant Valley. You you pick the one you want to play in. I don't know. Oh, let's I'm go with Mystery Lake. Good good classic. Man made shelters. Given given that you're basically playing this, you are playing this for the first time. I'm uh, gonna be a lady. You want okay? Because that's what I am. Yes, that's what you are. You, not a lot of people know that. They they don't that know. That was a Donald Trump reference. Oh, oh. Not a lot of people know that. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Who could have known that you're Who a woman? Who could have known that I'm a woman? Not a lot of people know that. Yeah. Okay. Sandbox 64. Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> that sounds like a really weird, like, uh, Eiffel 65. Nintendo Sandbox 64. 60 oh, I like it. <laughs> okay, let's start with the Nintendo Sandbox 64. Um, a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How Shit. long can you survive, Lauren? Always starts with a plane crash. Can't they come up with anything better than plane crashes? I don't know. Maybe they're going to change something when they're actually going to release the story mode. August 1st, it's been announced. And maybe they're going to... I, I, I believe that it has to start differently, at least with the plane. It gives you an excuse to start anywhere. Anyway, you're going to get thrown into the game and I'll explain the the controls to you for the most part it's wazd list of things to be done no the day provincial to is of the hour nailed it there is no later this is later <laughs> your sent instruction needs some work those were fragments yes that's <laughs> correct oh you're starting inside camp office how convenient we that have is english lessons this soon. is probably the most convenient place to start off in all right you found a new sprint it, I can, take. it, it can be used as tinder yes you take um, you can, so taking takes yes. some time. Searching takes searching some time. Searching takes a little bit of time, but it's it's mostly annoying. Mm. That's all it is. I um, mean, if you're slowly starving to yes. death or something. Oh, look at that, a storm lantern. Before we grab more stuff, we should probably look into the inventory and see what you got. Um, that's with I, yes. I figured. All right, so you can look. Um, this is your inventory that gives you basically the idea what you're carrying. What's equipped? Also, what, you wear, what you're wearing, you're going to see there at the oh. top, there's this little... Um, thing and that's you oh my. i don't know i thought you were oh you have short hair yeah i am a Sorry. dying clown you <laughs> <laughs> by the way this is this series is probably going to be ideal for anyone who hasn't played the long dark yet and wants an introduction because we're going to be like going through everything pretty much anyway yeah. welcome to the beginners yes. uh, the intro beginners lesson series lesson yes part one we're gonna put this on linda.com <laughs> it'll be great you can you can you know get it get it for your workplace watch I've, it and it's like oh yeah i'm watching a tutorial for software boss it's fine this i've is edited this for you before but the thing is i wasn't paying attention yeah. i was only listening for like fuck ups to edit out <laughs> i mean yeah that's, so you were listening to most of it because there's a lot of fuck ups <laughs> Anyways, uh, go back to the clothing menu for a second because uh -huh. I want to. Uh, no, up there at the uh -huh. top. I want to. Um, so basically, you can wear multiple clothing layers, which is kind of cool. So you see legs. You can actually wear kind of four layers of legs. <laughs> of 
of pants. You can wear oh, two underwear and two jeans, as far as I understand. Um, also, like two hats and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, every item here has basically a different value, which is kind of nice. You can see, like, this increases the temperature. It's not in good condition right now, but it's ragged or ragged. R ragged? Right, ragged. ragged. Yeah. What are the meters here? Uh, the meters. So basically, the first one means this one increases the temperature that you're feeling by 0.2 degrees right now. Uh, its condition is at 22%. It weighs 0.25 kilograms. Yes, we're using kilograms, not pounds. Just multiply it by two, it'll be fine. Um, and the other one, how it increases your speed or decreases your speed, mm -hmm. how much it protects you from wind. The one with the wind symbol tells you basically how much not negative. <laughs> temperature what's the word for bonus the, the opposite side for bonus the other word for m malice uh, uh, a penalty <laughs> penalty temperature penalty it reduces the wind temperature penalty the other one protects you from water and the other one protects you from attacks from Do wolves these change because why else they are change they yes they're different from for every clothing item like every because item so like well, Boots are better at making you walk faster but I mean I imagine these are different for every item too but why why are these ones meters? Uh, these ones are meters. Um, I'm pretty sure because one p kind of clothing protects you better from the water than the other thing. I don't know why they're meters. I honestly don't know. The game is constantly in development. Yeah, I was wondering if that changes with durability it's, it's, it's or something. It's protection. It's huh. just protection and maybe it changes with durability. That's entirely possible. You can go, every item has like an action button in the middle of it. If you click that, you'll see you can repair or harvest it and, you know... God, they're sexy. Yeah, look at these crotch pants. Yeah, you can turn them around and look at them. Like, mmm. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, oh! <laughs> okay, I got easy. a pretty good look at those pants. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you saw it every site like a million times. No wonder you caused the geomagnetical storm. I did. With that. Like, you probably generated some black hole. It's a flat ass. I mean, yeah, it looks... It's weird <laughs> because it's like there's a very thin body in it. Very, very thin mannequin. You're having fun, I, I see. Yes, I am. Don't worry, guys. We're going to get shit done. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, anyway, we're going to go back. You could try to repair it right now if you wanted to, but we got more important do shit really to do. I really need to repair that? No, not right now. All right, let's go and look uh, around. I think I need to go look at this, this radio. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not going to work. Geomagnetical shit. storm. Nothing electrical works. Yeah, the workbench pulls up a menu oh. where you can craft stuff. Uh, in this case, a wound dressing. I need lichen. Yeah, Gross. I, I never get it right. I say like lichen, 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 lichen. I like that that Deutsch is pronouncing. Lichen would be German word for corpses. Oh, gross. I'm carrying on lichen. I'm carrying on corpses. Just <laughs> rub that lichen on you. Strap some corpse. Mm, I'm gonna, rub that corpse on you. I guess I'm going to take that. Yeah, I why I'm not? I'm going to take that. Uh, yeah, food like that is awesome. Oh. By the way, I'm not going to tell you what you're doing in this game. I'm cool. kind of letting you explore and do on your own, but I will answer any Winking questions. It. All right. Switch. That's what? No, that's... Oh. Okay. <laughs> They're a different kind of switch. not lighting the light switch. Yes. Shell. Shell. Well, oh, it says it wants to hatch it to break it down. Okay, I don't know. But you can crouch. There's something on the shelf there. I thought it was going to make me search the shelf, and it's like, do I really need time <laughs> no, you can to actually pick this? the things up that are on it. Imagine if I had to stand here and be like, search. And then it says, like, there's there's five different Sir things in there that are not there. Yeah, <laughs> that you don't say, what are you? Painkillers. Can I... Oh, I thought I could like uh, turn that around and look at it. You you don't you don't want to pick up the book. Like I've been conditioned by my viewers to pick up everything, and they will yell at us in the comments if you don't pick up everything. They will yell at you like, "How could you miss that? I saw that." Don't worry, I'm gonna look at it. I'm not in the position where I can look at it and it's like, "How could you miss that?" I Shut up! <laughs> I won't miss anything. No, you, you wouldn't. sons of bitches! <laughs> don't you fucking preemptively <laughs> judge me. See, I see this. I see a whetstone. A whetstone? I'm gonna use that for fucking wetting. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, that's so wet. Wetting. <laughs> <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Who, who did Ooh, that song? Snazzy. Ooh, snazzy. Snazzy, snazzy. Worn old fashioned parka. It's a bulky parka that uses an old fashioned materials. I don't know is why. Is it from India? I don't know why Indian is the accent today. I don't know. There's something behind that chair, though. I saw something in the behind the chair, like on the left hand oh, side. Oh. oh, you can't jump with no, space. no, you can't jump in this game at all. Oh, we're jumping doing, is not a thing. We're, we're doing, doing this like old school Legend of Zelda. Okay. 
I, I guess, yeah. It's basically the same game. So you feel basically just at home. exactly the same. It's basically Zelda. The we long go, Zelda. The long Link. We the gotta Link go dark. save the princess. I bet this is Hyrule right here. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, it's actually a really fancy thing. I just noticed the lamps above it. It's like... Oh, those? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually quite lamps. fancy. Look at this piece of confetti. This one piece <laughs> of confetti. It's like... I don't even know what this is. I guess it's supposed to be some sort of dust in here. But it just appears as like the lamest party ever. Hey, bitch. Some lichen. That's definitely a lichen. And it's empty. Oh. I mean, I, I'm seeing pants on it, so it's not completely yeah, empty. Yeah, I know you're not empty. You got shoes, you got pants. Yeah. But then again, maybe he's so frozen you can't take him off. He's probably made of meat. Stuff will come in handy. I mean, he is definitely made of meat. The thing is, it's actually not freezing in here, so he should be rotting. Gross. Yes. Ooh, look at that. Grandma made a sweater for you. Oh. Just we'll thank keep your you. Core thank warm, you, Grandma. Even when wet. Mm. Well, did it say that? Even when wet? Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. It's it's toilet paper. Oh Ew. man, Ew, that's gross. I don't want to put that on my head. You, I mean, you don't have to. Painkillers. And this is just like looting the game as of right now. Yes. No, the bedroll. I'm gonna take that. I assume this was a really lucky place to spawn. This is a very lucky place to spawn. I never played on the Voyager difficulty, so I can't really comment on where you spawn usually in that one. But that's a fantastic spot. That's You're basically spawning in something that could be your headquarter. But oh, you never played it on Voyager? I don't think so. You're too hardcore for I'm that? I'm too hardcore. Well, I played it so much before even the difficulties came out, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, we have difficulties, and I just went with Stalker. Potbelly stove? Yeah. Oh, I can make fi fuego yes. if I need to. Yes, you, you can. Hot fuego. Yes, you can. All right, well, did I get anything better that I could put on? Uh, you could look on your body and see there's, like, a little plus where you can put things on on the empty slots. So you could, like, warm oh, that parka. Oh, I can parka. wear that. Mm, oh, and nice. And I can wear that. Oh yeah, the wool sweater. You're gonna be nice and warm. And I can wear this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, cover and I can that wear face. This gross hat. Ugh. Why is? It, why am I still a clown? Well, because it's cold. Like, doesn't your face look like that when you're cold? You can exchange your shoes. I wonder if there's a better pair of shoes you can wear. You can Let's get some switch shoes. around between them up there with that arrow. Get some shit. Oh, shoes. oh no, everything is worse. Oh yeah. I assume that's what that means. Running shoes is a. Pretty sh yeah. So can I just break those apart? I yeah, guess. Yeah, you could go under actions. Well, you don't want to break those, no. uh, or just drop them. But here you and would harvesties? get yes. When you harvest them, you get cured leather, and it takes an hour and fifteen minutes. Harvest. But I guess I'm we numb, have numb. all the time. I assume I'm slowly digesting them. Yes, you're slowly digesting the <laughs> shoes. <laughs> those were some tasty ass shoes. All right. Well. Well, you you, you harvested some clothes. You did. Um. Now, what about the other ones that I don't need here? There's a decent Ooh. sweater. You could wear that. Seems to be better. I mean, better. it's heavier. Yeah, but, but you're carrying around anyway. Uh, All right. Yeah, that's the other thing. Now I'm going to digest this one. <laughs> <laughs> just through my incredible gut. Yeah, you can, you I can, can still... Just, it, I it, can break down all manner of uh, organic fiber. Of fiber, yeah. You're, basic, fiber. you're basically a specialized, that, that one kind of moth that eats oh, clothing. Um, yeah, that specialized uh, caterpillar that, that can eat fibers. It yes. can't eat... It's not even the moth that eats it. It's the it's caterpillar. caterpillar. Yeah. Yeah. And people think all moths do that, but let's not get into let's that tangent. Let's not discriminate against moths. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Well, okay. I mean... You Am could... I going into the wilderness now? Yes. Leave camp. I mean, you could also it. stay here until you're dead. I'm going to say you're going to have five days with the food supply you have. I assume I need food. I mean, you're going to have to find it someday. I assume I also need to find a Fuego starting kit. <laughs> a Fuego starting kit is just <laughs> laying there. It's like... Next to the diesel generator. Hey, a that's deer! Just waiting. I oh. don't think that I have the means of slaughtering deer. I, you can try to run after it and just beat it over the head with a stick. Somehow I feel like that's gonna use a lot of. Wasn't I wearing gloves? Uh, they might have not added that functionality that you're gonna see it on your hands. Hands actually are a fairly new thing in the game. Are they? Yeah, it's like supposed to add to presence. Um, that you can now see that he strikes a match and oh, cool. all kinds of things. So right now you see when you hit tab, um, what is over there? You see oh, the information, and currently it feels like minus seven degrees Celsius. So no matter what you're wearing, if it's too co if it's colder than what your clothes protect you from, I'm gonna freeze. You're gonna freeze. Okay, well, but you have does time. It, tell me it will tell you when you're getting cold. My condition is one hundred. 
One hundred. You know I've always wondered how they measure the feels like temperature. Do they have a special thermometer like made out of human skin that just tells <laughs> oh, you what no. it feels like? It's just like it's half alive. Yeah, like, because my misery. What, how do you how do you measure <sighs> what it feels like? I think that has to do just you take the temperature and then depending on the strength of wind and the humidity, you can. I mean, it's probably a subjective thing. You, they probably did tests, I imagine. I'm pretty sure the commons are going to educate us and yeah, tell us how dumb we are. Yeah, somebody educate us on feels like temperature, because I, that is something that I have always wondered. Yes. Because if it is 72 degrees out, but it does not feel like 72 degrees, then what does 72 degrees truly feel like? Well, 72 degrees feels like 72 degrees when it's not windy and probably at a not certain humid humidity. And not humid yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, temperature change, like, how it feels if you're in the sun and not in the sun, so it's it's all kinds of weird. Oh. So rocks just, you can't just, take? Okay. No, you don't really need rocks. I mean, So this isn't, like, the type so. of thing where you, you pick up rocks and then you tie them to sticks and you make... No, not uh, that kind of survival. And you make an Thank God. I'm kind of done with that. I'm, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going in this direction. You're going away. I'm not going to tell you where to go. Okay, um, so M is not map. No, you don't have a map. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, it's really? all in your head. It's all in your head. That makes the game, in my opinion, a lot a lot of fun because uh, you don't need XP to get better at the game. You just keep playing the game, and then you kind of know the layout of areas oh, and make it easier. Oh, so there's no leveling. There's no leveling. No, no progression. It's just survival. It's just you. There is some sort of leveling. You can get a level up when you make fires. You level up when you stay outside for a certain amount of time. You get little perks and such things, but there's no real level progression. Fascinating. So, I mean, when you're dead, you're dead. I mean, that's that's your life. That, huh. that is your life. You, by the way, also don't need to break down every single branch. Well, but you I mean, can. It's it's your call. It's your choice. This is if you want to break down all the branches, then then you do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> Any case, we're gonna continue in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, but look. Yeah, look, look what we're gonna do in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and bye. But it, but,